En tu tre fe. Hi you guys and uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Fly Tiring. Um, I'm going to show you a, a, a really eff efficient uh, pattern for, for trout in small streams. Every year I, I go to this small stream and fish for, for small trout and, and, and you know, um, this, the last years I, I, I'm, I go there with my fly rod. And, and um, you know when you're in the woods and it's dark and it's hard to see the fly, uh, this 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 uh, pattern is extremely efficient uh, for you. You know it's easy to see, and it uh, you know when you tie it with the with the rabbit foot, it floats very well. And and for the uh, and here for the for the wing, I'm using the this part. And for the tail, I'm using under the feet. The, the, the fibers are a little bit more uh, stiff, you know. So uh, looks great. So yeah. So um, uh, for you guys that don't like flies that are, uh, I, I, I'd say chubby, <laughs> chubby flies. Uh, but um, uh, this is a variant variant of uh, of Fran Fran Betters. Uh, the usual. So uh, in the in the original pattern, you use the under fur uh, from the rabbit to the body. I'm I'm using uh, uh, this one. Uh, we call it in Norwegian. It's called hare maske. It's the face of the rabbit from here. Yeah. So I'm using this uh, woolly part. Just pull out and dab it on. So yeah. So. Um, yeah, I tie this in size 14 and size 12. You can, of course, you can tie smaller, but you know, in these small streams, it's I like uh, quite big fly, uh, and you know, size 14 is not a big fly, and but size 12, it's a little bit bigger. So I tie this in size 14 and 12, and I use partridge uh, TDH the dry. This one. And for the tying thread, I have a Unithread 80 in uh, in fiery orange, and we're gonna tie a small tag in the back there. So, yeah, should we start? So, as you can see, here is my fly, the usual. It's a variant, but I call it the usual. And you see the tail and the, the wing, it's quite big wing. And uh, chubby, you can see it's it's quite fat this fly. <laughs> but I like that in, in, in you know, when, when, when I'm fishing these this streams. So yeah, let's start. I'm gonna put this in my box. I've just started tying up for my fishing trip this weekend. I need some of these flies. You can see here, there you go. So I'm gonna tie size uh, 14 and 12. Yeah. So let's put in a hook. And and uh, when I'm I'm fishing for this small fish, I always pinch in the 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 barb. You don't need to have the barb on. Oh. I'm just gonna like that. You see, barbless. Like that. Okay. I'm gonna start in the front here. Tighten the thread all the way to the hook point, and we're gonna go back halfway. And I'm gonna tighten the wing. Okay. Oh, I just gonna ah. There we go. Oh. I need the hook to, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna move the camera a little bit like that. 
I don't want to tie in the wing. So I'm going to use this part for the for the wing. They are a little bit softer and 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 uh, and um, and a little bit longer. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna snip out a, a fairly amount of fibers. And what I'm actually going to do now, I think I'm going to show you down here because the GoPro isn't so good at focusing on close. So um, let's go down here. Okay. I'm going to show you here. As you see, this is too much. So I got this in my right hand and I'm going to change them over to my left hand and I'm going to pull out this part, this under fur, get it out. And actually this, you can save this and use this for the body. I think that's what he, he uses in the original pattern. He used uh, this for the for the body. So I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna look. Ah, it's too much. So I'm just gonna pull out what I don't need, and uh, it's quite quite important to work with your materials so you're satisfied. I'm gonna see again. It's too much. I'm gonna pull out. Actually, I'm gonna pull out some of this because I don't want too much. Size 14 should be a size 14. So, oh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. That looks nice, yeah. And I'm gonna take, in my left hand, and I'm rolling around, and I'm always trying to see, um, you know, I'm gonna turn in like that, or like that, I think, like, this looks great. Okay, and I'm gonna measure it, the same length as the whole hook. It's there, and I'm gonna tie this in. There, pinching down and up and tighten. I take two, and I'm gonna tie the thread back to there, and I'm gonna snip off the excess in an angle like that. And I'm going to secure it. And then, a couple of wraps there. And I like to secure it a little bit extra. Because this, if you don't, this tends to slide around on the shank. And you don't want that. Oh, that looks great. I really, you know, when I'm, I'm you know, when I'm tying these flies, um, I kind of get picture in my head me fishing in the, in the, in the small streams for small trout and uh, I get excited so you know when I'm tying flies I kind of remember the, the back in the days you know and that's that's important for me the tying flies you know um, it's the whole picture so I'm, I'm looking I'm closing my eyes and I, I see the small streams in the woods and the small trout they're not big they're like from this size to this size um, but you know they don't get any bigger in the in the small rivers and uh, yeah so yeah <laughs> okay we're gonna tie in the tail so now we secured it looks great and I'm gonna go back just where the the bend starts that's that's there I'm gonna tie in the in the tail and uh, I'm I'm gonna show you down here because the GoPro isn't so good you can see there's the fur. Under the under the feet, and the fingers or the feet? Should I say the fingers? <laughs> and under the nails, you see. There's the nail, there. So this is these fibers are are a little bit uh, rougher, and this is more fluffy. Okay, so I'm gonna snip out a small bunch. Okay, I'm just gonna snip it out. Snipping. <laughs> so. snip out a small bunch so as you can see here we're gonna pull out the under fur like that and I'm gonna change my hands to my right hand and I'm gonna measure it and I'm now I'm looking if to see so I don't overdo it with the amount of fibers like that and I'm gonna have the same length as the whole hook I'm gonna change hands again to my left hand and I'm going to tie it in. Uh, pinching up and tightening. I'm going to do the two times. And I'm going to 
make sure I'm just by the bend that's there. I'm going to go up again and I'm going to snip out the excess. I'm going to snip it out just where I ended the wing. There. And I'm going to tighten up, clean up this fly by touching turns. Like that. I'm going to go back down again. And then we're going to make a little tag just by uh, touching turns to the tail and back up again, just a millimeter or so, one and a half millimeter about. There we got your tag. And then we're gonna tie in the body. So, let's see. I got my um, Hare Maske. <laughs> you see what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna pull out this part up uh, by the ears here. I really like that part. You can use, uh, you know, this part is also good. This between the eyes, but I'm, I like to use the part up here. So yeah, you know, I'm just gonna pull it out. Just a small amount, okay? So let's tie it in. And I like to to roll it around between my fingers, so it kind of mixes. And I'm gonna dub it on. And I'm, I'm gonna pull it so I don't get this lump, you know. I'm just going to make a nice, thin dubbing. I'm going to working on, working, working with the dubbing. With the fur, this is natural fur. Yeah, like that. Okay, so we're going to start there and I'm, I'm tightening up the dubbing for every turn. And I'm making it thin there and I'm going to make this fly quite chubby I like that it's quite thick so all the way to the wing just one more turn and I'm gonna tie in some supporting wraps underneath the wing here and I see this is a little bit too much I'm gonna pinch out a small amount of them here there we go I think it's it's perfect now so Lift up the wing and tie close to the post, to the wing there. Support, for when you tie there, the wing will lift up and spread out. That's nice. And I'm gonna finish off just by a nice red head. And there you go, that's the uh, usual. I'm just gonna say the usual. It's a variant, but uh, variant, but uh, variant. Yeah, <laughs> my kind of fly for 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 fishing small trout. I think this fly would work in the waters, uh, in every kind of stream. But I use this in in um, the small streams. I'm gonna pull out, fan out the wing, and if you want, you can. Snip off any fibers in the in the bottom like that, and you know this is uh, this looks like uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> I really like it. This is a real fishing fly for me, but uh, but um, I use as I told you I use it in the small streams. Okay, so there we go. That's the my kind of uh, fly for for the small streams, and and. Uh, I tie this in size uh, 14 and size 12. It's, you know, you see, it's just a, as I'm calling, I say in Norwegian, it's a bustefrue. Bustefrue. It's, you know, it's got fibers all over the place. And yeah, thanks for watching. And, and I'll see you in, in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>